Friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum based website, so something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So, on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news. Uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music, and many, many more. Um, on Black Community Speak, it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship. So make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today. everyone is me Demetra K of the Demetra K show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video I would greatly appreciate it. So I have some good news for you guys. A church in Tulsa, Oklahoma by the name of Transformation Church has decided to give $200,000 to each of the Tulsa massacre survivors because there's only three of them left. And so Pastor Michael Todd decided to take it upon himself and to, you know, give from the church's coffer the $200,000 to each of the survivors. And he said the following. He says, uh, reparations is not a political word. Reparations is not a word that your left wing friends or your right wing friends have coined. Then he also goes on to say, let me give you the definition of reparations. The action of repairing something that was devastated. Reparations means that somebody is going to take up the mantle and actually put into action the process of repairing something that was destroyed. He says, Viola Fletcher, 107, Hugh, uh, Hughes Van Ellis, 100, and Leslie Randall, 106, will be the recipients of the reparation payments of $200,000 each. The three of them had also received $100,000 payments from the Justice uh, for uh, Greenwood. The pastor quoted a passage from the Bible stating that reparations is also a part of God's lessons, and I will restore you the years that the locust hath eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, quoted from Joel 2 and 25. And so you know what? Big ups to him. I love it because we often take the church to task. I'm not one that goes to church. You guys know me. No, I don't go to church. I don't fool with the church in any way, shape, or form. But I love hearing things like this because the church, especially the black church, is often taking the task for not giving back into the community, you know, setting up church in the, uh, churches and communities that are completely dilapidated and always being accused of not helping people outside of the church. And so I'm glad to hear that. That young brother, you know, Michael Todd is a very young man. He says, hey, you know, it's because of you guys that I'm able to buy this church. I bought this church from a white man and turned it into something. He says a young black man was able to do that because I stood on the shoulders of those that came before me. And so big up to him for doing that for those survivors and making it right. And he said, I decided to make it $200,000 because that's what the cost of a medium, uh, median cost rather of a home in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma cost a day. And he says that was the biggest thing that they lost was their homes. And so he decided to make it right. So yeah. Big ups to him. And you guys, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.
everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms. Thank you.